Ford has just announced the launch of its new electric crossover. This is the latest addition of the company's growing range of sellout electric vehicles. The company has released some amazing electric cars so far. Unfortunately, they're all expensive, but this is about to change. What's so special about this new Ford, and when will it arrive? Join us as we explain everything you need to know about Ford's all-new 20K electric car. Before we explain the details of this new car, it's important to know why it is such a big deal. Electric vehicles right now are expensive. The cheapest on the market is the Nissan LEAF, with an MSRP of $27,400. But the LEAF has problems. It has a low range of just 149 miles, which is half of what it should be. And to add to that, it is incompatible with most public charging stations. To get to mass adoption, we need to have a low-cost electric car with acceptable range capability that performs better than any gas equivalent. And this is where Ford's new model comes in. Plans for this new EV were confirmed in 2021, but details have been kept under wraps since then, until Martin Sander, head of Ford's Model E electrification division, finally confirmed that it would arrive in early 2023. This new Ford will be the first mass-produced, low-cost EV, and they have selected the Cologne plant in Germany for its construction. The Cologne plant is where Ford builds the Ford Fiesta, which the company has confirmed will be discontinued. Martin Sander said in a recent tweet, can't wait for 2023 to arrive when we pull off the cover of our first electric passenger vehicle coming from Cologne. This new Ford will be a crossover build to compete with the Tesla Model Y, VW ID4, or the Toyota BZ4X. Ford is taking a leaf out of Hyundai's books and using its electric future to rebrand its design identity. Hyundai has produced some of the most beautiful cars with the Ionic 5 and Ionic 6, and Ford are moving in this direction. This new SUV crossover will have boxy design cues taken from the popular Bronco and blend them with a futuristic all-in-one grille, and their trademark light bar connecting both headlights. Ford teamed up with Volkswagen and is utilizing its MEB platform to underpin this new EV. This is a versatile platform that is used by the Audi Q4 e-tron, Cupra Born, Skoda Enyaq, Volkswagen ID3, Volkswagen ID4, Volkswagen ID6, and the Volkswagen ID Buzz. Based on the above, we can expect it to produce 295 horsepower and reach a maximum range of 275 miles on a single charge. The battery supports DC fast charging, but can be charged at home on a 110 or 240 volt connection. Ford claims this will give the driver an extra 32 miles of range per hour with home charging. Ford's next generation SYNC infotainment system uses machine learning to customize each driver's experience fully. We've become custom to a large 15.5 inch touchscreen that allows easy access to the system's array of apps, which we expect to be included. Ford's support over the air updates have been a game changer for resolving small recalls that can now be fixed with a software change. Henry Ford introduced the Ford Model T 100 years ago, a revolutionary car at the time. He famously said, I will build a motor car for the great multitude. It will be so low in price that no man will be unable to own one. He wanted his cars to be within reach of the middle class, and he worked to keep prices low by using efficient production methods and keeping his labor costs down. The Ford Maverick followed this principle. They delivered a car for the masses far more affordable than any competing pickup on the market. Now Ford is set to do it again and a price even lower than the Maverick, which starts at $23,670, is expected for this new release. Suppose they can deliver an all-electric SUV crossover for $20,000. In that case, we could be approaching the tipping point of mass adoption. Jim Farley has accepted the task of transitioning this 100-year-old company from a bloated blue chip that was comfortable to a fast and lean EV company capable of seriously challenging Tesla. Recently, the Ford CEO has focused on two very important issues. One, markups. If you've seen or heard of a car sold way above MSRP, then you know what we're talking about. Dealer markups have plagued the industry, and customers are fed up. Jim Farley has battled with dealers to end the shady practice. Now, it looks like he has come out victorious. Two, quality control. Ford Motor Company has been through a wave of recalls, and it seems only to worsen. The company has had to recall over a million vehicles this year alone. Jim Farley had proclaimed that no Ford vehicle would be released to market before it passed the strictest quality control test. 
It's the most important initiative in the whole company, and it's going to take several years. We didn't lose it in just one or two years, Farley reportedly said, adding, Until we fix quality, nothing else matters, said Farley. Many of Ford's future electric vehicles will be based on the Volkswagen MEB chassis, at least in Europe and potentially other global markets. This isn't the first time Ford has done something like this. Basing the Jaguar S-Type off the Mondeo, for example, it still needs to be determined exactly what will distinguish a Ford built on the MEB platform from a Volkswagen with identical foundation. It'll become more apparent when Ford officially unveils their new car next March. Henry Ford was one of the most influential innovators of the 20th century. He revolutionized how we work, travel, and think about the world. Ford changed how we live and work, from his iconic Model T automobile to his vision of mass production and the assembly line. His ethos was that hard work in producing quality products would drive innovation, efficiency, and profitability. He believed in the power of the individual and the importance of working together, and he had a passion for making life easier and better for everyone. Ford was a true innovator and pioneer. He developed the first car that could be mass produced and affordable for the average person. He also introduced the $5 day, which gave employees a raise and helped them become more productive. He also implemented the first assembly line, which allowed workers to work faster and produce more cars in less time. Ford was a leader who valued the importance of quality and the power of hard work. He believed that products should be made with the utmost care and that his employees should be treated respectfully. His ethos was to strive for excellence and never give up in the face of adversity. The new EV is strongly rumored to be given a name from one of Ford's iconic discontinued models, potentially even the Model T remake. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. They seek to create products that are not just the best in the world, but also affordable and accessible to everyone. But Teslas are super expensive and out of reach for most. Now Ford is beating them to the punch by releasing the first low-priced true mass-market EV. And they may change the world for the second time. With the new EV plant in Cologne coming online and being repurposed specifically for EVs, it feels like Ford can start to compete seriously with the market leader in Europe. Do they have what it takes to challenge Ford and Tesla globally? Let us know in the comments. If you watched until now, thank you very much. Please consider subscribing to Velocity for more videos about EVs, Tesla, Ford, and the latest car news.